Hi everyone. <laughs> How are you? Hi. You know me. When I can, I like to jump on early. Let me just make sure I can see. We're live at five. So I see a heart. Bonnie Lee, hi, beautiful yourself. Okay, you guys, so let me just explain this top really quickly because I realized as I sat down to do the live, it doesn't look as cute sitting down, but I wanted to show it to you. Um, I'm not sure how I can do that. Hello, Donna. So I wanted just to tell you that Desiree and I went to a secondhand sh store today. Hi, Donna. Hi, Laura. Hi, Bev. Oh, Bonnie Lee, I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay, let me get back to the shirt. Oh, see, okay. You know me. My mind goes a million places. Des and I went to a secondhand store that's around the corner, and I got this shirt. And my whole plan was to wear it. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Sissy. Hi, Sonia. Hi. Thank you. Okay, so Mandy, you're talking about the shirt. I'm giving the story about the shirt because it doesn't look as cute sitting down. I realized that the second I plop myself on my bed. It's super cute when I stand up and I'm wearing it with a black straight skirt. Um, but I got it at a secondhand store today for $25. <laughs> It's got cute sleeves. I felt like it was very, um, tro not tropical, but destination vacation-esque. Do you guys know what I mean? Hi, Kathy. Bev, your favorite color, awesome. Linda, hi, hi. Okay, Bonnie Lee, thank you, sissy. Bonnie Lee, you're saying about Minka. Minky, come here. Guess what pretty lady's birthday it is today. It's Minka's birthday. She's seven years old. So today, she and I are officially the same age, which I love. And I'm obsessed with that fact. It's her birthday today. Well, thank you for saying it looks great, Laura. It does look better standing up. It's this really fun material. I saw it the second I walked into the secondhand shop and I tried it on and it fit perfectly. Sorry, I have like a bandeau bra underneath. <laughs> anyway, Des got quite a few things too. Donna, thank you. And happy Thursday, Terry. So it's little Miss Minka's birthday today. So she got extra everything, extra loving. I have to say extra queso because if I say the American word of queso, she'll go crazy all over again. Hi, Dan. Hi, Bev. So I got this top. I love it. My whole vision was to wear it with a black straight skirt and my cute little black patent leather sandals. And it looks better when I'm standing up. Oh, well. Thank you, Bonnie Lee and Lexi Lulu. Jean, I didn't see you. <laughs> You have not become invisible. Jean, I'm so sorry. Let me scroll. I'm not keeping up with my scrolls. I didn't mean to. Thank you, Brian. I didn't mean to um, overlook you, my sweet friend, Jean. Of course not. Ever, ever, ever. Okay. Hi, Francis. So let me just give you a recap of last night. I loved your questions. I I hope that I loved, too, the way you responded after the broadcast, so thank you for that. I hope that I had a lot of fun, and I hope that you did, too, so thank you. So after I hung up with you, thank you. You know what? This is actually, it was from a second-hand store, and I think it's, um, I think it's Banana Republic, I want to say. And they had all different designer brands there. And there was actually a woman doing um, live to Instagram. It's called a Lexus suitcase. A Lexus suitcase. And it's not a Lexus's suitcase. It's just a Lexus suitcase. And we went there. It's around the corner. Thrift shopping is a lot of fun. We went to another one, but it was closed for repairs because of the looting that happened here last month, which is really sad. I can't imagine going through that. Thank you, Patricia. My secondhand store find today. All right, let me go back to, so when I hung up with you, my friend Shamita came over. Um, 
We had reheated pizza because that's the kind of host I am. And um, but I made fresh salads. We had our little wine popsicle sticks, which I think they should be called winesicles. Can I see some hearts if you like the name winesicles? I see a couple hearts. I thought winesicles was a cute name. Thumbs up hearts. Yeah, but they're called skinny freezes. We had those. And then the three of us decided we wanted ice cream and Desiree was going to order it like to have it delivered. And Shamita and I were like, no, it's right around the corner. There's a Baskin Robbins. I see all the hearts, the winesicles. Hi, Kyle. So, um, hi, Mary Alice. Oh, thank you. So we decided to take a walk. And it's pretty hot at that time of night. It's actually still about 90 degrees. This is about 6.30, quarter to 7. And um, so remember, I go in the morning with Minka. We left here at 7, and that was late for us. Usually we leave the house by 6.30. So we, Kyle, you got to stop with the wide brim hat. I can't, I can't handle it anymore, my friend. I'm not going to, I'm almost definitely not going to wear a hat. Sorry to disappoint. Um, so anyway, hi, Karen. We do have a great friendship. We really do, Kathy. So we walk, so, so we're like, okay, let's walk to Baskin Robbins. It'll make us feel better about eating the ice cream. So we walk all the way there, which I think on my steps, Bev, you'll know that it was like a thousand steps. no. I think it was 1,000 steps round trip. I don't know. It was like 750 steps. Another, none of us remembered to bring a mask. Yeah, that's how bright we are. None of us decided. So guess what we did? We did the only logical thing that you would do. We walked back home. We got our masks, and we walked back to Baskin Robbins. So I logged like 3,000 steps extra, so I feel like it was worth it. And then we came back in, and... We just chilled out and listened to music and played this little fun Q&A game with each other and had a great time and made plans for Saturday brunch with friends, Saturday night with um, rooftop drinks. And I think I'm going to wear my new, my new, uh, what do you call this? Thrift shop find. I'm all about the thrift shop. I don't use the Fitbit. Karen, I actually use, it's called Pacer. It's an app because I always carry my phone and I don't really like to have a watch on. So I just carry my phone and it's called Pacer. That's the app. So today I'm at, oops, there's a glare, 7,511 steps. Okay, so then Des and I went to bed kind of late um, and I was up early this morning. She slept in a little tiny bit longer. And then we both had work stuff, and then I we went to the thrift shop, and then I wanted to take her to the Southern Baked Hot Pie Company because tonight we're having pot roast pie and chicken ranchero pie, and you should Google Southern Baked Pie Company because the woman is amazing, and she's been like featured in Oprah, and her pies, they're like right down the street, and they're so good. So I had something else to tell you. So other than that, that was worth the ice cream, Lisa, yes. Yes, we wore our mask in the thrift shop. We sure did. And then we um, went to Marshall's because, of course, just whenever you're in an area where there's a Marshall's, you must go in. And um, Shamita, Shamita, come back over. Shamita, you can come back over. No joke. Two pies. Actually, three pies, Shamita. You guys, I forgot to mention, we got the savory pies, but then we got the peach pie. Shamita, if you bring... The vanilla bean ice cream, you're more than welcome to. Plus, it's Minka's birthday. So, you guys, tell Shamita to come over. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, I, I don't want to get too off on topic because what I really loved was that. Um, oh, and Des is taking a nap in the guest bedroom, and I'm, like, screaming at all of you. She has her, her TSV tonight on QVC. She's doing it from my little studio. And I'm so excited for her and so proud of her. I feel that way about home goods too, Angela. <laughs> Dan, this is um Dan, this is a fabulous cocktail. Funny you should ask. It's just, it's got that simply light lemonade, which I love. And just like a little skosh of coconut Ciroc. <laughs> Cause you know what? I'm in vacation mode, semi-vacation mode now that Desiree's here. That's no excuse. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I added that. It doesn't matter. I'm an adult and it's an adult beverage. Okay. 
Colleen, what I loved, you were talking about, you got your time back. So my question was this whole work from home because I haven't really discussed it with anybody. I had to buy different things to accommodate for working from home. And so I liked hearing what you all had to say. So Colleen had mentioned that typically when she has to drive into work, her commute is one and a half hours each way. So she not only got three hours back in her life, so this is a, the positive, the pros of working from home, but she's also saved on gas and other expenses. That's a big deal. I've definitely saved on Uber and Lyft for sure. I mean, I was traveling at least twice a week out of the state. But she did say the con, which I agree with, was not fitting into clothes. And I think that it's a slippery slope because I noticed the same thing because you're home. So the reality is like, I mean, I think I wore makeup maybe four times this whole time. And you don't necessarily want to put on jeans or structured outfits. And so what do we do? We wear like our loungewear. And that has side effects. Also just, I think stress, I'm a stress eater. So I know what you're talking about, Colleen. Elizabeth, I, I love that you're a pet sitter and a, a pet care caregiver. And I really respect this because as most of you know, I traveled all the time, like incessantly. And I have to say that that's been almost a relief. It's been a relief. My dog walker's name is Catherine. We adore her. And she's basically like a second mother to these two dogs because there were times when I was only home two and a half days out of the week. And this was like year end, year end, just constant. And I wanted to check in with her because number one, we didn't know how long this was going to go on. And I didn't know, but at some point I was like, my gosh, my Catherine, I don't want to lose her. I adore her. It's her full-time job is dog walking. I was one of her primary customers. Um, I'm happy to say that she said she was able to maintain about 60% of her work. Um, and her business. Minka and I see her all the time when we're out walking. We adore her. Minka gets, goes crazy. I don't take Sydney, just if you only hear me say Minka, it's because it's too hot to take Sydney out. She doesn't want to be out that long. We go for about 45, 50 minutes. That's, I take Sydney for a short walk. But anyway, I did um, book Catherine for this Sunday because Desiree and I will be gone for the entire day. We'll be at Serenby. That's another place you should Google. Serenby, it's spelled S-E-R-E-N-B-E. -E. And we're going there for goat yoga. And then we have horseback riding. So the my girls here will be happy to see Catherine in the middle of the day. That would be great. But I understand Elizabeth, and I'm and I am I completely empathize with you about that work stopping abruptly. It happened for me too. I know we're in different industries, but it doesn't matter. It, it still impacts us. And I hope that things start to pick up for you. I really do. Angela talked about changing up her workspace and moving from room to room. Angela also said, is Angela on here? Hi, Tesha. Hi, Colleen. Side effects. Yeah. Um, Kathy, you've been able to work from home for the past four years. Good for you. Yeah. So Angela's worked home for the past eight years. So she says that for her, she finds the an advantage to moving from room to room. And I kind of do too. I switched it up quite a bit. Like sometimes I love the guest room because it's very serene. It's very calm. I did it in like beachy colors. That's the room that has the wicker headboard. Sometimes I do it from my living room, and then obviously I'm now doing it from my bedroom because Desiree has her set up for later. I don't want to interrupt her space. And she's napping next door. Debbie asked about Sydney. Hi, Debbie. Are you on here? I don't know if you heard me mention. Hi, Debbie. Sydney is going to be 16 in September. She's my little old lady. And so there's been lots of changes with her that are heartbreaking as you all would know, because most of you I know are animal lovers and have either had them or have them. Oh, wait, let's look at the birthday girl real quick. You guys ready for this? There's the birthday girl in her full glory. She doesn't get that from me. <laughs> all right, um, Patty, Patty with an I. Hi, Patty. She said that for her during this COVID and quarantine, 
her 94 year old, first of all, 94 year old mother-in-law, I think that's amazing, came to live with her and her hubby because of things that were going on in her mother-in-law's condo, repairs and things. So that has to be a big adjustment. I can only imagine what that has to be like. So I know Bev, Bev, you and I, we're, we live on our own. And I was saying to Bev in a, in a, in a text, yeah, Minka has no shame in her game. She, she just, that's it. She's on full display for her birthday today. But there's advantages to living alone, and, um, and then there's not, just the same as with people and without. Uh, my neighbors across the street have two little ones. In fact, her three-year-old, her birthday was yesterday, but then she has one who's um, barely a year old. And I can see her sometimes when she sees me, and we start a conversation at the end of our, each of our driveways from across the street, She's like, I haven't washed my hair. My friends are telling me about these shows I've never even, I don't even have time to watch. I'm lucky if I get in bed at 9.30, I'm exhausted. And I'm sitting there starving for attention. So it's just, you know, it's like they say, it's like the grass is always green or we, so we think. So the reason I was asking the question, Lisa, Desiree gave me this necklace. Thank you for asking. And I did not ask her where she got it, but she gave me this as a gift when she got here. It's a hamsa and I love it too. Thank you, Lisa. But I think that it's just, again, everything is about perspective because, you know, I told you, well, now it's about a month and a half ago. I couldn't see the forest through the trees. I was in a black hole. I wasn't answering my phone. I wasn't returning text. I was questioning my life, my purpose in life. I was questioning everything about myself. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to be around anybody. It was not good. And, and then something shifted and I don't know if it was like the universe and speaking to me or something shifted and I was like you've got to get up you've got to get up and make this work you know better than this you know what to do you're a survivor get up make it happen and it's not easy I say that to you like it's like like then I just whoo world out of bed that is not the case. It was very difficult to push myself, very difficult. But I didn't know any other record to play in my head. I didn't know any other way. I knew I couldn't feel worse than I was feeling. Really, I couldn't imagine feeling worse than I was feeling. You know, sometimes it hurts because I know that my mom watches these and I didn't really let on how much it was bad because I didn't want to bring other people down. And I know a lot of you are like that, that are here on this page because you're compassionate and you want to uplift people. And I know that I can tell just the way you interact with me and, and the way you interact with each other, which I love. And so, you know, that feeling, you feel like, well, I don't want to talk to anybody, even though people always say I'm there for you. I'm there for you. You don't want to, because then you feel like you're the you're the heavy, you're the wet blanket. You're the one like, oh, again, I don't want to talk, you know? And I was afraid, but it was just something that was like, you either do this and you're all in, or what other choice is there? So I think for now, you know, even though like this morning I woke up and my stomach was still like kind of in knots and I'm thinking about the day with Des and obviously excited, but at the same time, like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do, so many T's to cross and and eyes to dot and a book launch on Wednesday and I don't even know, right? And, um, but I don't know, just gonna give it a shot. Thank you, Jeannie. Karen, planets in retrograde, oh, is that happening now? And you needed to take that time for growth. You know, a friend of mine who is an extremely intuitive person, she really is, she said that too. She said that to me. She said, you, you think about it. You would have never had this time. Otherwise you would have just kept going and going and going and doing what you were doing, which was traveling. I was going to Texas. I was like, you know, all the travel that I was doing that I never talk, took time. I'd always had a book on the back of my brain. And, but what would have happened? We, we might circle around a year and I still wouldn't have done it. So she was right. And I think that was helpful too. I hear you, Sue, and Sharon, yes, Sue, though, too, right? Sue says, I always want to be the cheerleader, even when I'm down. I know. I get that. 
You don't want to bring your friends down. I love my friends for the gift of light they bring to my life and they're supportive. Shamita's one of them, huge supporter. Um, but like I said, I think of my friends and it makes me happy. And the last thing I want to do is burden them. Everybody's got their own challenges, especially now. Um, but I do think that it's important to reach out to people that you feel really comfortable and confident with. Thank you, Mindy. It is hard to let people know when you're unhappy. Angela, your journal. Speaking of journals, my journal is available on Amazon.com today. And I ordered 20 of them. 10 of them are already reserved for my group. But I will be giving 10 away, I want to say next Tuesday night, I'll be giving away 10 journals. It's a mindset journal, Angela, that I designed um, on my own based on what I wanted out of a journal. So I'm excited. So next, I should, well, first of all, I should be getting them Monday. And then I'll be able to show you the physical copy, but I love the cover. I hope you like the cover. Let me show you. It's on Amazon right now. And so I ordered 20 journals, and I definitely want to, I wish I could give you all one, but I definitely want to give you some. Let me show you. You know, I feel bad because it's probably going to be blurry, but this is the cover. Oh, oh wait. It's really pretty. It's honestly, it matches my bedroom. Is it easier to see? No. Thumbs down on that. It matches my bedroom. It's beautiful. I love the cover. I showed Des and Sheila. Oh, you can kind of see it here. It's really pretty. And it's about... Um, it, it, there's 60 days of self ref, of daily reflection for morning and for evening, but then there's also some prompted exercises to just get you thinking. Because what I realized once I got out of that depression, that's what happened. I wrote that. I wrote that, Angela, because you were talking about the journal. Yeah. Um, two Angelas. Sorry, that's why I had to look because it was two Angela Wolf and then Angela Adams said the journal sounds wonderful. Um was that's what I started to do. I started to write down the things that I was grateful for, the things that make me smile. I started to rate my day on a scale of one to 10. Now, at one point, I was literally at probably a one or a two. That's not cool. None of us here should be at a one or a two. We, we, we're blessed. And, and you, know, you know that doesn't mean I'm ungrateful. I was just not in a good place. That's it. That's the end of the story. I was not in a good place. And then I would just do these little incremental things that would that would sort of raise me up because in my in the journal that I um, just published that just I just found out today that it, it's up on Amazon it's twelve dollars I didn't I thought that was reasonable I don't know anyway um, I I said rate your day rate your day on a scale of one to ten it's we always hear these scales but we never really use them for ourselves but I just thought like for me today was an eight and that's awesome. And it has nothing to do with Des. I love Des here. I want Des to live with me. Um, her husband went like that. But it was my own stuff that sort of made me, took a couple notches off that. But otherwise, this has been a great day. And I'll take an eight day any day. I will. It's so much better than a one or a two. And so I was just doing little things that would help me build up that scale or that ladder or whatever you want to call it to get to the three, to get to the four, and if it meant working out and moving my body and watching um, the show Shit's Creek for the millionth time or Veep, because I love Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She's like my favorite actress. Um, whatever it did, took to get me to smile, I just said, do it. <laughs> so I know it's not easy. I'm not, I'm not saying it lightly to any of you that are struggling. I, I promise you I'm absolutely not. Um, because I was there and, and, um, I told you that in my family, there's a few of us that str have struggled with depression. I shared the story last night on, about being on QVC and I don't like that altered state that those types of medications put me on, but I'm certainly, you know, make me feel, but I'm certainly not opposed to it. But at this stage in my life, I don't want that to be an option for me because I know that if I just make some subtle shifts with my mind, and use those words that I like to, that bold, dynamic, confident, or whatever those words are, then I'll start 
Uh, you can talk yourself into or out of anything. Do you agree? And I don't know. Thank you, Bonnie Lee. I know, I guess. Oh, the name. What, 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 yes, the name, please. What's the name of what? Oh, gosh. You guys, I'm so sorry. I'm completely... Is, do you mean the journal? Sorry, you guys. You should know I talk too much. I miss this. What's the name of it? Okay, the journal. It's called Mindset Journal. If you just put in my name and then put journal, it should come up, but it's called Mindset Journal, a self-discovery journal with 60 days of daily reflection. Hopefully you'll find it. I'm sorry, you guys. You know what? Maybe if I do this. Does this work? You guys, I'm trying to get like more. Oh, see, but that's not going to go on my um, page. I'll send you a link at the end, Sharon. I'm sorry. Thank you. Journals and writing down is huge. Who says this? Laura. Yes, I agree. Oh, yeah, Laura, you were telling me about this. In fact, I was going to tell your story. Laura talked about um, that the fact of being work from home. This is Laura. Um, she actually, it gave her more flexibility to care for her son and her senior dog. My heart to you with the senior dog right there. Plus also offer herself up as a volunteer coach and mentor by phone, text, emails, and virtual meetings. So that is huge. Find your blessings. Exactly. Thank you, Laura, for sharing. Colleen, I'm so glad you like the color. Aw, thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. Oh, is it easy to find, Colleen? Thank you. Colleen, thank you so much. You know what? It just, I was so interested in throwing on this shirt and getting my drink ready for this that I forgot to share the link. And I was also obsessed with the fact that Mink is seven and so we're the same age today. The mind is powerful. We can control many of our thoughts and shift our feelings. I agree. Energy, what did they say? Wait, feelings go where energy flows. Wait, what is that? That saying? I can't remember. Yes, it is the neurotransmitters in your brain that deal with the mood. Sometimes it is the only thing that can help. I do agree. Colleen! Colleen! You're all right. You're all right. I like you. I like all of you. Thank you, Colleen. That was the sweetest thing. All right. Um, Lori, you guys are like the cutest. No, that is so true, Lynn. I 100% agree. 100% agree. I do think, so again, not trying to get into a controversial topic because I do think to each their own. I think for me, it worked for me when I needed it when I was at QVC and I was in a state of desperation. Um, and I needed, I, it, I, that was my option. And now I just feel like I know better and I also know I can do better. And you know how, like, I think I posted it today, you know, you sometimes you have to have your own back and sometimes you have to, because again, I, I can just tell from your vibes and, and what you guys share that you're compassionate people. And typically when we hear somebody say, you know, I'm a compassionate person, you think about compassion for somebody else, right? But you need to have compassion for yourself too. So, I mean, if the lounge pants or the stretchy pants are a little snugger than they were prior to this, so what? Who cares? It's no big deal. You'll get there. Just handle it. Give yourself more grace. We give it to other people. We've let other people walk on us. We've let other people take advantage of us. We've let other people use us. We've let other people say things that weren't nice, and we've tolerated it. But yet, we could sit in our house and beat the living crap out of ourselves in our mind because a pair of pants is a little snug. I don't think that's a compassionate approach to ourselves. 
And I mean, I know I still do it. The thoughts come in my mind like, oh, shoot. What happened here? Oh, well. It's okay. You know, they're coping mechanisms and some are healthy and some aren't healthy. And it's just a matter of balancing it out. Yes, Bev, absolutely. Kind, caring people for sure. Having Desiree in the other room, like if you only knew just the past like two nights just going to bed in the house that I love so much. and um, But it's just when I thought about it, like we got out to dinner with friends. I told you that. Pardon me. And it's the first time I've been out to eat since February. And I, and I just finally, I realized that I'd been to a friend's house for dinner during COVID, but I had not been to a restaurant out to eat. It's the first time since February, just those little things meeting up with friends gave me a boost knowing that she's sleeping like a princess in the next room gives me a boost knowing that she wants to be here with me gives me a boost. That's huge. It's like, you want to be around me? That's cool. <laughs> so I'm not going to really freak out over eating Southern baked pie for dinner. I'm not going to freak out about it. And if Shamita gets here with the ice cream, I'm going to have a scoop. That's it. I want to read all your comments. I am bon Bonnie Lee. I definitely am. Journaling does make a difference. I do agree to writing stuff out. I think that was my other thing for work from home was writing lists because somebody mentioned self-discipline and I forgot where it was. Sorry. I did start to write these, these down, but I think I lost my, I think I lost my spot, but I do think self-discipline. Um, so I like to, you know, have a schedule of things that I need to do. Um, I plug a lot of that into my phone, obviously. Most of us do. Let me see, Angela. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Yes, Chris, we haven't been out to eat. I can't even believe that. Oh. Lisa, you can DM me. Karen, you're a full-time caregiver for your 87-year-old mom with dementia. My, oh, my goodness. Fun live chats, good. Yes, you cannot give from an empty vessel. God bless you on that. I know, that's amazing. You can't help others until you save yourself. Yes. Yes, of course we can take a walk since we're having ice cream. Shamita, I hope you're on your way because... Just kidding. We had so much fun. Started putting my heart and thoughts down, but try to talk about gratitude also. I agree. And Karen, here's the thing. You know, sometimes I felt I got defensive once on a live, I think, because I was trying to share. And, the, and listen, I don't, don't, please don't anybody take this the wrong way. I do not mean anything. I'm just telling you it was my mindset at the time. And then somebody said, made a comment and said, yes, but look at all your blessings. And I immediately was like, oh my God, it's it's all a mindset. It's all a mindset. And I have the most beautiful house. I love this house. You guys, it's, I could probably only do a hundred steps in this house. It's this big. And I love every square inch of this house. And I'm grateful for my health. Listen, we know, I know people know that. When I share those things of those moments, they're moments and they're human moments and we all have them. I don't think that they always have to be backed up with them saying, yes, 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 I'm grateful. That's horrible. I don't, I would never hold somebody to that. If you're feeling a certain way, feel a certain way. I, I don't think that you're, I don't think, I wouldn't think somebody was ungrateful because they were sharing a moment of how they're feeling. I just want you to know that. I, I believe that you're, you're a grateful and truly blessed person. And, and as I am too, and I know that I am, I have my health. That's huge. I have family, I have friends. You get the idea. Wow, Patricia, you're talking about didn't have your grandkids for a while. You know, my mom and dad had my nephew um, visit them uh, in Florida. And I know that that meant the world to them um, because they didn't know that if that was going to happen. And even now, my mom says, we usually have Thanksgiving there. And she said, I don't know if that's going to happen this year. I mean, no one knows. And even today, you know, some days I check the news before I jump on here because... God knows I don't want to be, if some, you know, I have to see what's going on and be sensitive to it. 
But I think also it's important to just be able to share your feelings and not feel like you're being judged. That part right there. Oh, thank you, sissy. Said she's loving this chat. Oh, that is so cute. Bonnie Lee says, oh, Angela, how cute. Everyone in this room is these is a blessing. Aw, love these chats. Bonnie Lee said that when she's feeling at her lowest, she watches a video of her grandchildren on her phone and instantly smile. You know what? That's so true. Thank you, Jill. You know what? It's so true. And you know how they have that exercise, like if you've ever um, seen it or done it, where it's like write a hundred things that you're grateful for? Have you ever done this? I've done it several times throughout my life, but there was this one time where I like could barely get to 50 and I was like, what's wrong with me? Like is something, but again, you know what? Then I set it down and I waited a few days and suddenly I was like, I'm grateful for sunflowers. I'm grateful for blue butterflies. I'm grateful for finding a parking spot. I'm grateful when there's no line at the checkout. I'm grateful for the person who smiled at me today because sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, you know, I mean, and then I started, it's just, again, don't beat yourself up. If you're having a day where you don't, just don't beat yourself up. It's okay. They're only moments and they pass. We know this. We know this. Aw, hi, Wendy. Go feed Bailey. Wendy, tell Bailey it's Minka's birthday and she's wearing her birthday suit. You know. Hi, Gina. Oh, Rhode Island. Okay, Gina. Dell's lemonade. Am I right? If this was Dell's lemonade, it would not have been sitting here this long. It would have been Dell's lemonade, clam cakes, and chowda. Attitude of gratitude. Hi, Jackie. Oh, I'm so glad, Kathy. Good. Okay, so when anyone's joining me, this is the purpose of this top. I just want to remind everybody. It looks better standing up. You know how you have like the sitting shoes, shoes that you can only wear sitting? This is a top that you can only wear standing, apparently. So, but anyway, I wanted to show it to you guys because I was all excited about my thrift shop find. So I am going to release the book next Wednesday, but the journal is available online. And thank you to Colleen and whoever else. I saw somebody else posted it, so I thought that was awesome. I do need to come home for a visit, Gina. Gina, my family, my extended family, my godparents have a house in Matunic. And my aunt, my godmother, my aunt Marilyn, she actually does um, my taxes. So I was like chatting with her the other day, like via email. And I was like, I really want to come to the beach house. It's East Matunic. I really want to come. She's like, just let us know. We will be here. I am craving Rhode Island right now, Gina. I am craving it. Marcy, thank you. Connecticut. Oh, living in South Carolina. We were talking about South Carolina uh, the other night with my friends. I like Connecticut. I've lived in several places in Connecticut. Yep. We lived in Darien. We lived in Trumbull. Pawtucket, um, why is one, oh, I worked in Mystic. Remember the movie Mystic Pizza? I worked right there on the water. It was really cool. Thank you, Karen. It was a really cool place to work. Mystic is adorable. So when you guys are out and about again, maybe this is the time that you write your list. Maybe that's a good project that we could all do is since we do have this time and maybe you're going to start journaling, um, maybe you could write your top 10 list for when the veil is lifted and we're able to go and do the things that we want to do. What would you like to do? Where would you like to go? I know I would love to Gina. I would. Of course, Darlene. Bonnie Lee, really? New England is a great place in the summer, yes. I almost went to Salve Regina College. Believe it or not, I did get accepted. <laughs> With my low GPA, I actually got accepted to two, well, I only applied to two schools, URI and Salve Regina, and I got accepted to both, but 
my parents were like, yeah, no. Because I wanted to go, I wanted to go there for the horseback riding. And they're like, we're not having it. But Des and I were talking today. We're super excited about Sunday for the goat yoga and the horseback riding. That would be awesome, Bonnie Lee. I love clam cakes. So Sunday is going to be a great day. Saturday, we're meeting my friend Josh. I know a lot of you know Josh Harrell and his family. So again, it's like these are the first few times I'm getting together. There's not more than six of us for that. And then on Sunday, it's just two of us. Um, so we're all, we definitely are taking precautions everywhere we go. Thank you. My favorite vacation spot in the U.S. That is a great question. That is a great question. My gosh. It's interesting that you asked me that because when I grew up, we had a, we had a cabin in the Catskill Mountains in New York. I grew up on a river. Loved it. I used to catch salamanders and lizards and put them in a bucket, like hundreds of them. My mom would say those poor things, they were like suffocating at the bottom. I used to catch fireflies in a jar. I used to go fishing. I used to catch catfish. You know how you catch a catfish? You stun them with a rock. You bang a rock on top of a rock. You lift it up and then they're like this. And then you stun them. So and I was a kid. Um, but I loved it. So I typically am a mountain person and I love like when people say beach or mountains, I do love the beach cause I'm a roadie girl. I grew up on the beach, but because of my skin, I don't like to hang out at the beach cause I, I'm like, um, so anyway, I love the mountains. So I love North Carolina. I would say Asheville is one of the most beautiful places. Um, I love Asheville, but I also am very partial to the Catskills in New York. I would say that those are probably my top two. Yeah. I will wear a helmet Sunday. I have my own Bonnie Lee. Yes, goat yoga. Karen, goat yoga is like kind of like yoga therapy where they have pygmy goats that while you're doing your yoga poses, you know, when you're doing downward dog and like child's pose, they'll like climb up on your back. And it's just supposed to be super fun. And we're going to try it because why not? Mm -hmm. Well, you have two homes, Laura. That's amazing. Italy. I do. Yeah. I mean, if I were outside of the U.S., I mean, I have Greece is top on my list. That's what I wanted to do for my 50th birthday. But that's going to be held off. I would think Japan. Wow. Yeah, there you can do it through her. Sunday is going to be a great day. So is tomorrow, Bev. Cape Cod is beautiful. I love North Carolina. Asheville is just gorgeous. Nashville, I've, I've been once. And that was a wild story, you guys. It's the first time I've ever been on a tiny little private plane. And we went in for one night. And we saw the music awards. And it was the coolest thing. Coolest thing. Um, a video. I should figure out. For the goat yoga, I should try. See how we could do that. Ooh, summer in Canada and Niagara. Ooh, that's so nice. Bermuda says Wendy. Well, Desiree, um, they she has a, a restaurant in St. Thomas. So we were talking about how, and I've never been to St. Thomas. Um, I want to go there. But again, we're just waiting for what's to come and what things are gradually going to open. And not even open, but where we'll feel safe, you know, where people will feel safe to go. Louis, oh, really, Bonnie Lee? That would be fun. I'm not a cruise person, though. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't like cruises. I, I need to be able to get up and leave and walk around and go do stuff. So I did love San Antonio, Dan. San Antonio is a great place. Yeah, I liked Costa Rica, too, because I went to the jungles in Costa Rica. So we did, like, zip lining and ATV um, I guess I would say I'm an adventurous, but see, I like both. I like a beach vacation, and I'll sit under an umbrella with a big hat, and I love that. But I can't be out there. I'm not like an eight-hour at the beach person. It's like two hours, and it's like, can we go see something? Oh, New Mexico, I bet, and Taos. Megan's Bay and St. Thomas. I'm going to have to ask her where their place is. Okay, so I guess Shamit is coming over, you guys. I'm going to wrap this up in a second because I need to turn on the oven so I can heat up the pies. I'm going to remind you again of this pie place. 
I get nothing for telling you this, but because you can order them online, I'm just telling you because they are so good. It's called Southern Baked Pie Company. And the woman just won an award. She was featured in Oprah. She's a local Georgia native. She's a mom of three. Her youngest is not even one year old yet. And she makes these pies and they're insane. And the pot rose pie is her signature pie crust with a layer of mashed potatoes and seasoned pot roast. And it's insanely delicious. And then we got the chicken ranchero, which is basically like a chicken enchilada in a pie. And then for dessert, we got the peach pie. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to take 30,000 steps tomorrow, clearly. I mean, seriously. Oh, my gosh. Colleen is like on top of things. Colleen, wow. I am into it. I love you too, Bev. Of course. <laughs> Amy, I missed the thumbs down. I don't know what happened there. I hope I didn't say something offensive. Um, all right, you guys, thank you so much. You were so kind to me and so sweet. Don't forget to watch QVC tonight at midnight so you can see my beauty queen. I'm going to be pie-eyed, Wendy, exactly, um, to see my beauty queen, Des. Thank you. You're right, Karen. Good looking out, girl. That was a good one. You were quick on that, Karen. Thank you, Terry. All right, you guys, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, Friday Live at 5. We'll recap. All right? Good night.